what we decided to really focus on were, were some of the, the more interesting creation apps. And then also started to think about, okay, what possible things could you do with these apps that you haven't thought about yet? So one of the other apps that we, we liked was Photosynth, which is um, a Microsoft product. It works um, on the iPhone and is used to create um, panorama images, almost you know, almost three D like uh, panoramic images, and does a tremendously um, creative job of making very seamless um, pictures uh, in you know three hundred and sixty degrees. So a really interesting app that we like um, as a photo app. The two apps that we that we looked at that do video, uh, one is called Vine uh, and the other one is called Tout. Both do short video clips. Uh, Vine works with Twitter and allows you to create a short loopable video clip of a scene with sound. Uh, looks a lot like an animated GIF, which is really kind of what it's really designed to do, present something short, sweet. Um, Hopefully, if you know what you're doing, it'll be interesting. Uh, the other one is called Tout, which allows you to also record short video clips uh, and email those, embed those in, in pages. Its primary use right now has been um, on the commercial side. The Wall Street Journal um, had a custom version of this app built and then deployed it to all of their reporters, and they are creating you know, short one minute or so video clips from scenes. It also has led to some really interesting on-scene reports by some of their, their, their correspondents. You know, I think one of the, the, the key elements of media today is its ability not just to broadcast, but its ability to, to be social, to create conversations, to allow people back into the, into the mix with you. Instagram, for instance, is the ability for people to comment um, on your photos, to like your photos. So you can start a, a conversation around a particular image. A lot of these apps integrate with, with Twitter, with Facebook, which allows you to, to not only have conversations, but to really build communities around the content that you're creating. Audio storytelling is something which is becoming more and more a part of what photojournalists need to learn how to do. Um, and as an app on a phone, um, SoundCloud is really pretty simple, but also um, is powerful in that it is connected to you know, a community. It allows you to share the content pretty much across uh, multiple platforms, integrates with, with Twitter, integrates with Tumblr. Um, a lot of media companies are starting to use it as, a, as an alternative way to distribute their content. And so thinking about, again, ways to expand the universe of, of what photojournalism is. We thought SoundCloud was a really great example of, okay, this is a tool that um, you probably aren't familiar with or haven't been using, but one that you should think about incorporating into your, into your storytelling.